Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Okay, Boomer. Uh, yeah, somebody put that as a comment on one of my videos. And I know that's the millennials' way of dismissing my generation. And I get it. They see the world that we're handing over to them and who can blame them for being pissed? I would be. Now, I can make excuse, excuses. I can blame the generation before mine. And they were the ones who set things up to be what they are today. But then we haven't done anything to change it, have we? It was the Reagan tax cuts and his anti-union policies that created the conditions for the income inequality that we see today. But we didn't reverse what Reagan did. As a matter of fact, we doubled down on it. George Bush passed more tax cuts for the rich. That was W. Bush. And Donald Trump just passed, signed another one into law. And when the truth came out about the, what the fossil fuels were doing to the planet, it was the Reagan generation that chose to do nothing. But even as climate change accelerated, we're still doing nothing. So I guess we have to take the blame for that one. And that means that life is probably going to be pretty hard for generations to come. So I can only agree that my generation has failed spectacularly. But let me make one thing clear. Generations are not monoliths. There is as much difference between members of the same generation as there is between one generation and the next, regardless of what characteristics they might share with each other. It has become clear to me over the years that my thinking is quite a bit different from a lot of people in my generation and in other generations. For example, I believe that climate change is a crisis that requires immediate action. Obviously, since nothing is being done about it, it makes sense to assume that most people don't see things the way I do. I also think that tax cuts for the rich are stupid. I think we should do more to help the poor and to provide opportunities for the middle class and to expand it. I think we should repeal all tax cuts for the rich and return the tax code to very close to what it was before Ronald Reagan. But we continue to give tax cuts to the rich, so I guess there's a whole lot of people that don't see things that way either. And our infrastructure rocks all around us from years of neglect. So yes, we are a huge disappointment. There's no doubt about that. Our one shining moment was years ago when I was in my 20s when we actually stopped the Vietnam War. And fueled by that, we believed we were going to change the world for the better. Well, it certainly is not better, is it? In fact, it's a lot worse. It's not like we were the only generation involved, the generations that came before me, and a whole lot of generations have come after me. They have to share the responsibility, too. So now it's the millennials' turn. In fact, it's been their turn for years now, and I haven't noticed them stepping up. In fact, it's fair to say that they have been missing in action. They've made no difference at all. So even though I'm ready for them to seize their moment, it doesn't look like they are. 
Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.